Hey everyone, it's Michael L. Mattis, the Lounge Chair Marketer with 411MLM.com. And today I'm going to show you how to pull an image off the internet, edit it, make a banner, or put it up on one of your social media sites. So I'm also going to show a lot of free tools that I use almost daily. Um, I'll spend some time with the tools, but more importantly, down at the bottom of this video, I'll have links to each one of the tools. So you can just click on it and download it. They're free applications and you're going to love it. So the first tool I want to show you is Jing. It's by TechSmith and you can simply go here to download it. If you notice at the top of my screen, after you download it, you have this cool little tool. And I, again, I use it all the time. So we'll go there, you download it. And then from there, what I want to do is I want to show you the power of this nice little tool and why I use it every single day. So what I've done is I've gone to Google and I typed in images. And here in Google is, of course, three images. And I'll just type in my search. Uh, I'm going to do motivational quotes. How's that? Have to do your search to notice all of these images. Um, some of these images, uh, if you notice, people will put their names and stuff on them. I don't see any right yet, so I'm trying to find one that someone put their name on it. Um, but what you can do is you can actually edit the image. Oh, here's one right here. So if you look at this one down at the bottom, it has someone's name on it. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy this one as an example. So I'm going to open up this image. And notice here, this person put his daily inspirational quote dot in. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So I open up my little Jing, uh, Jing tool up here. I press this little button. And it's going to allow me to capture this image. Now, of course, I want to make sure the author receives credit and I capture it. And if you notice down here, I didn't capture that part of the image. I just captured the main part and I made sure I kept the... Uh, the author that wrote the image on there. From here, you just click Capture Image. You title it whatever you want to. I just put uh, C.S. Lewis .jpg. I like to uh, do JPEGs, and then I simply save it. And I'm going to put it in here. Uh, .jpg. I'm going to put it in one of my folders that I have. Go ahead and close. Now, what's really cool after you capture the image, you can go ahead and edit it. So what I do is I'm going to go back to my Google, my home screen, and I use uh, Google Chrome, but you can use any of them. And one of the apps that I use all the time to actually edit the image um, before I upload it, because I like to make it nice, is I go here to Pick Monkey. So if you notice, if I go to Pick Monkey, it's simply just go to PickMonkey.com, and again, this will be at the bottom of my video. Now that this is open, I click here to pick the image that I just downloaded. And let me find it because I have a bunch of images in here already. Uh, I know it's in here someplace. So just bear with me. I've got to find it. Um, bear with me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's in the wrong one. It would help if I get to the right directory. So it's in this one here. Always make sure you know where you put it. And let me find the image that I just uploaded right here. So I'm going to open that image. Here, it's going to drop it in the little box. So once it's in here, there's all kinds of things you can do. You can crop it, you can rotate it, you can put some uh, text on it and so forth. But what I like to do is I like to go ahead and border it. So one of the images uh, and tools that you can do is you can actually border it. And there's a bunch of them right here. But for today, I'm just going to do a simple little edge. Notice how it put the black border around it. And you can go ahead and adjust that to any uh, width that you want to. By default, it's at 20. You can also go here and let's say I want to change the color. It's really simple, very intuitive. So you just find a color that uh, you actually like that, you know, looks good with the image. Since it's got a blue background, I'll go ahead and give it a kind of an off-center blue. I like that. That looks good. And then you can um, thicken the inside. So you notice here the width part. You can go ahead and, you know, change that as well too. Or you can just remove it completely. So I'll go ahead and just leave it right. Uh, that looks good to me. And then when you're done, of course, you go down here at the bottom and you want to go ahead and apply that. And it's done. There's some other things that you could do, such as, uh, you know, resize it. So you crop it if you don't like how it looks. You can change the color, sharpen it, and so forth. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to resize it. So this image, by default, is at a 616 by 426. I want to make a banner. So... There's a couple of things you can do. If you keep this at key proportions, when you put, uh, let's say I want to make a 250 banner, this will automatically adjust this image based on um, the proportions of it. 
You can also manipulate it by unchecking that. And let's say I want to make it a 250 by 250 banner. Of course, it looks weird now because it's not the right size. Now it's at a 250 by 250 banner. Okay, so there's different sizes. I can even go 125 by 125. Just depends on what type of a banner you're looking for. Now it's a 125 by 125. You hit apply, and I'm done. I come up here to the top, and I want to go ahead and save this image. And I'm going to put it right back. Um, different size, different quality if you want. Uh, this one is not so great. This one's great, and this one is gorgeous. So I'll go ahead and just keep it as great, and then I'll put save photo. I want to go back to where that photo was. Otherwise, you're going to have two pictures in here. Boom, it's right there. So I'm changing what it looked like. I'm going to hit replace, and it's in there. So bam. Cancel, cancel. So that's basically I can now take this image. Oh, I, sorry. I'm going to just go to my home menu right here. I can now take this image. I can take it on, put it on Google+. Plus. I can put it on uh, Facebook or wherever I want to do it, and I just simply upload it. So that's basically the, the, the two little simple tools that I use, which is Jing and then, of course, is PicMonkey. The third one that I use all the time, let me find it, is a Screencastle-Matic. And this is actually the, the system I'm using to uh, record this uh, little webinar, this training session. And it's free, so you can go here and uh, you can download it. It's uh, really simple to use. It takes just a couple minutes. It's very intuitive. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed today's tips on how to take an image, how to edit it, how to maybe create a banner or upload it on one of your social media sites. So again, it's Michael Mattis to your success. Make sure you see the comments below um, for all the different tools and, and their uh, URL addresses that you can go to. And then of course, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube account because every week I upload videos like this. So have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.